I love petting zoos, especially if they are free. How about you? Would you like to check out six free petting zoos? Come on, I'll show you around. Hi, I'm Steve Turtle, and this is a review of the free petting zoos near Millbridge Village Camp Resort and the Amish country of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. If you're a return visitor, welcome back. If this is your first time here, you should consider subscribing. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. We are leaving from Millbridge Village Camp Resort, just off Route 30. Now, if you're not staying there, that's okay. You can pick up our adventure at the intersection of Route 30 and South Ronx Road. Now, as you travel around the area, be careful. There'll be a lot of Amish on the roadways, walking, on their scooters, and their horse and buggies. Use caution when passing them. Come on, let's get going. We got a long day ahead of us. We take a right onto South Ronx Road and turn left at the traffic light onto Route 30. Drive to the next traffic light and turn right onto 896. And just down the road on the left is our first stop, the Good and Plenty Restaurant. And just around back is the Petting Zoo. They have a playground, picnic tables, and a swing. You can buy food for 25 cents and feed the animals. Now make sure you hold your hand flat and don't curl up your fingers like this. They may bite your fingers. They have a turkey. She roams outside the pen and she will eat right out of your hand. You can feed a chicken. They also roam about the petting area. And you can pet a goat. They love to get a little scratch behind the ears. If you have time, stop in at the restaurant, have a meal, check out the bake shop and gift shop. Now let's get out of here. We have a lot to see. As we leave the Good and Plenty restaurant, we take a left onto 896 and just down the road a ways, take a right onto 340, a left onto Beachdale, a right on Gibbons Road, and just down the road on the left is the Bird in Hand Bake Shop. They have swings, picnic tables, and a very nice playground for the kiddies. You can buy food for 25 cents and feed the goats and the chickens. Now remember, hold your hand flat and don't curl up your fingers. The goats always seem hungry and they're a lot of fun to watch. You may get a chance to watch one nurse from their mother. Very interesting thing. And sometimes you can catch the goats just hanging out on their little playground. If you have time, stop in at their store. Have a treat. Check out their bake shop and gift store. Now we backtrack just a little and head towards Bird in Hand Bakery and Cafe. We take a right onto Gibbons Road, a left onto Beachdale Road, then take a left onto 340, and just down the road on the left is the Bird in Hand Bakery and Cafe. And right next to the cafe is the Village Petting Zoo. They have picnic tables and a very nice playground. You can buy cracked corn for 25 cents and feed the turkey, goats, and chickens. Now remember, hold your hand flat and don't curl up your fingers. They have this crazy turkey. I'm pretty sure he would attack me if uh, he wasn't in the pen. You may get a chance to see one of these baby chickens. The goats are always fun to feed and pet. They were ready for a snack this particular day. If you have time, go across the street to the Bird and Hand Farmer's Market. Walk through, check out some of the local farm produce and baked goods. Next, we are going to Kettle Kitchen Village. We take a left onto 340, then drive all the way to Intercourse. And on the left, just past the traffic light, is the Kettle Kitchen Village. Just to the right of that is the Pygmy Goats. Can you say goats? Well, they have cute little pygmy goats here. Again, you can buy food for 25 cents and feed the goats. However, read the sign. These goats are good at convincing people that they are starving. But they are not. 
they get grain and hay every day. This is just their little treats. Look how this one is waiting. And as soon as the food hits my hand, they're ready to go and eat it up. They even have a change machine if you don't have quarters. Also, they have a few tables, chairs, and benches. So you can sit and watch the goats on their little playground. They do act like they're starving. I think it's so much fun just feeding and petting the goats. If you have time and you're hungry, the Kling House restaurant is just around the corner. After your belly is full, walk around the Kettle Kitchen Village. There's lots to see, all types of shops, and you can even get ice cream if you're looking for something sweet. As we leave Kettle Kitchen Village, take a right out of the parking lot onto 340. Then drive until we get to Old Leacock Road. Turn left. Stay on that road until you get to Route 30. Turn slight right onto Paradise Lane. Continue on Paradise Lane until you get to the Little Country Store and Miniature Horse Farm. Now this is a really nice place. A lot of ponies and a whole lot to see. They even have pony saddle rides and cart rides for the kiddies. You can buy food for a dollar a bag or 25 cents for a handful of feed. Feed the ponies, goats, and alpacas. And the alpacas, they don't spit. Now remember, hold your hands flat and don't curl up your fingers. I know I've said that a good bit, but that's sort of important if you're feeding animals. You don't want them to snip off one of your fingers. Don't forget, if you have a chance, touch the horse's nose. It's really, really soft. The goats were fun to feed, and I just love how they all come clamoring to the fence for the food. Look at this cute little goat trying to get in there and get some food too. Oh, but last but not least, the alpaca. Really cute, and like I said before, he won't spit. But he wouldn't let me touch him. I wanted to pet him a little bit, but he was a little shy. Don't forget to stop by the store and check out the crafts, artwork, soaps and lotions, and a whole lot more. You can even buy a broom or a jug of root beer. And best of all, you can buy ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. We're almost done, just one more stop. So we leave here, we turn left onto Paradise Lane and Casey Jones Restaurants, just down the road on the left. Be on the lookout. You may get a chance to see the Strasburg train pass by. Then out back, just past the buggy rides, you'll find a petting zoo. They have goats, alpacas, and a pretty handsome pig. Although the alpaca has a funny tooth thing going on. Another pig just didn't want to be petted, but the goat didn't mind at all. I think the goat actually liked it. A little scratch on the back. Now, if you've had enough of the petting zoos and you're a little hungry, stop in at the Casey Jones restaurant. Dine in a classic P70 railroad coach. Or if you're super tired, you can stay in the Red Caboose Motel. Now, after a long day of adventure, we leave Casey Jones, we take a ride onto Paradise Lane, then a left onto South Rox Road, and just down the road is Millbridge Village Camp Resort, or wherever you may be staying. Well, there you go. Six free petting zoos in the Amish country of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Lots of goats and other things to do in the area. Now, I hope you had a good time. I sure did. Now, if you had a good time, or if you're in the area and you're actually going to some of these uh, petting zoos, leave me a comment down below. Let me know your, uh, your opinion. What's going on? What do you think? Did you have a good time? I hope so. Well, that's our story for the week. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, click like down below and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to hear more stories like this one. New stories every week right here on this YouTube channel. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. Until later, thanks for your time. Bye.